feelings are all over the place. I'm uh, very excited. You know, this is like the first time I've ever played against like a former team just ever in my life, my career. And then, uh, I think it would be kind of weird walking into the visitor side. I've never been in the visitor's locker room or anything like that. So, I mean, it, I think it would be fun. I think uh, I'm just very excited to, uh, to, to uh, step in there. I, was, I just found that there are a lot of different styles in Europe. Uh, I've I noticed like in uh, the French league that we have a team in France that we just played and they play like a more up and down pace and uh, it's, it's just different styles and the Spanish league is more pick and roll based and stuff and the uh, Italian, Italian league is like a mixture of, of it all and uh, I think playing in both leagues helps you learn more about yourself, more help you help your game out a lot and then just a the consistent play keeps you in shape throughout the season. Life in Rome is great. Uh, it's always something to do. Uh, big city. Uh, the only thing is just traffic sometimes is a, is a little pain, but uh, life is good out there. The, the fans. The fans. Is, I just love the fans, the, the atmosphere there, and then the people were great around there. Um, I, mean, I like the big city, but sometimes Pistoia being a small city was cool. It was a little bit more laid back sometimes. And, uh, you know, a lot of the food restaurants I used to go to were, were uh, pretty good. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's basically it, yeah. Uh, after practice, you know, probably go get something to eat at Gargantois restaurant. Uh, maybe maybe drink there, you know, a little something. But it's just hang out around the Gargantois, and just in, in, in the center. At Gargantois, Gargantois for sure. <laughs> Ci vediamo domani. Mi familia pistoiesi. Uh, it was a tough game. Um, I was very excited to be back. Uh, it was my first time back since playing in Pistoia, and uh, it was a it was a great atmosphere. The fans were as crazy as they were when I was there, and uh, it was a great time. We got the win, which made it better, and uh, I expect it to be just as crazy, if not crazier, tomorrow night. Uh, life in Rome is nice. Uh, as we know, you know, Rome is the capital of Italy and, you know, a very big city for tourism. And, uh, you know, it's nice to live in a big city. It reminds me of being back in America. So it treats me nice. Uh, Giorgio Tezzi, because uh, that's where I lived. I lived on their compound while I was there. And, uh, you know, it was nice. I got to see a lot of plants every day. I was walking through their, you know, the gardens and stuff. So. Yeah, when I think of Pistoia, I think of that, and then I think of Florence, because I used to go to Florence a lot to eat and, you know, do stuff. Uh, I miss, I mean, Pistoia is not a big city, but it's not small either, but uh, where I lived was like right on the outskirts of Pistoia, so I wasn't like right in the city. But uh, it was nice because it was just a lot of flat land, it was a lot of grass, it was a lot of plants, it was very peaceful. And for me, you know, I was the only person living over there, so it was really peaceful for me, and I felt like I was in the countryside. You know, we are in Tuscany, but uh, it was nice. And then the fans, I mean, just the energy. It was, it was really fun playing at home in Pistoia. Uh, well, um, I tried not to go out in Pistoia so much. I tried to go to Florence more, but... Uh, when I did go to Pistoia, I mean, I, I, I was in the square for the most part and just talking with the locals and bouncing around from the restaurants and the bars. So uh, when I was there, there was this one place called Chimpanzee. I, I think it's closed now. I, I think it's not there anymore, but uh, that's about it. So, ah, into drink. Gana <laughs> uh, uh Sono molto contento di tornare. Deep historia.